How's it going today, everybody? This is Kajime Addict, your host. Today we are looking at the Bandai 50th Anniversary Memorial Box Godzilla 90s figure. Um, specifically, but not quite, mainly 92. It's not 91, and it's not 93, in my opinion at least. This is the 92. Godzilla Battle for Earth, pretty much. Godzilla vs. Mothra Battle for Earth. So... This is another figure that I've already technically reviewed, and we'll bring out the regular pink tag version here shortly. But let's just go over some of the basic details. If you happen to enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. We have reviews pretty much coming out every other day, and very shortly, as I tried to last night, but I couldn't get a a version of it I liked. I will be going over some basic preparation for GFAS videos and tips and tricks. So be on the lookout for those a little bit later. Now let's bring this guy in quick. Let's just quickly look at the detail. We've kind of already looked at it once before, but nothing wrong with looking at it again. This figure is sculpted amazingly. Um, this is just an eight inch figure scaled down. Um, this Memorial Box one is actually a little bit harder vinyl, not as squishy, especially in the tail. The tail is, tail is thick, but look at all that detail. Super, super nice looking. And you can already see the difference between most of the standard versions of this figure and this one specifically. So let's actually bring out the old 92 and just show so this is pretty much the only differences besides the nails being painted a little differently the eyes are actually pretty much exactly the same but the nails this one is more bone these ones are more very dirty white the i guess these ones are kind of more yellow i should say this one's more bone so, with the eyes, this one's just a little darker. It's more bronze than gold. And the teeth, these ones are a little bit more cleaner. These ones are a little bit more yellow. But the spines, we have our standard white spines that the Heisei Godzilla would have on. And then we also have these spines, which is kind of this weird, almost like sea ocean blue. Um... Just a color variation. There is another variation out there that's actually got the deep, more atomic breath blue. This kind of looks more like he's just swimming in the ocean and the color's reflecting off, but you can just say it's an atomic breath coloration. Otherwise, these figures are completely the same mold-wise, articulation-wise. Glue seals at the tail. You can see that this one still hasn't quite gotten out of his box. Um, being stuck in his box. His leg is a little tipped out, but that's fine. Nothing too bad about that. All right, so we'll pull him off to the side. Articulation really quick here. Head, arms. You can have him look like he's being held behind his back. I don't know who would be doing that since he's such a chunk monster, but you never know. Both the legs go up. And down. Boom. So size comparisons, since that's really the only thing I can do with this one. Um, some of these are probably... I know I at least did this one in his review. But we'll do it again just because this is from the movie he's featured in. We've got Batra Larva, the Monster Arts one. And yeah, that looks good. Very nice. Batra's almost as tall as Godzilla. And that's with him being slouched over a little bit and these claws not really holding him up. So he's as flat as he can be right now. So that's good. Then we have a few others. I don't think I used either one of these guys during those videos. Um, during the last Heisei Godzilla video. So we've got the Mechagodzilla 2. Just because, well... This is a Heisei Godzilla. This is the Monster Arts one. And Mechagodzilla is just slightly bigger, which is perfect. Um, maybe, maybe it should be a little bit bigger, but 
you know, I stand mine straight up. Yeah, I mean, straight up, he's a little bit taller, but it's not too comparable. I mean, it's it's enough to where he's he's larger, but he's not too large. And lastly, a figure I have to actually go back and check to see if I did a review on for, but we have got the new series Bandai Mogera, which this is perfect. These look good together. So yeah, there you go. The perfect Heisei Godzilla for all your Heisei Godzilla needs. If you're not too specific about the de design being not quite right, um, this is obviously not a 95 or a 94. And now that we've got the 91, really this guy can only be used for 80, or 92 and 93. And even 93 is stretching just a little bit, but that's okay. This figure is still excellent. Um, if you have a prior version of this figure, you don't necessarily need this memorial box version. Um, but I will say, if you plan on getting the memorial box, just buy the whole set. I'm telling you, it's a lot cheaper to do it that way. And yes, it is cheaper to buy the whole set together than separately. But if maybe you've already bought quite a few figures from that line, and maybe you've decided, hey, I do want to finish it out, this guy's not too hard to find, and he's not normally too expensive. Uh, there will be a price jump. I mean, you'll probably see the old Movie Monster Series 1 probably for 30 40 bucks. Um, I can't remember if he's actually on a recent release, so he might be a little bit more. This guy's probably going to be closer to 80 um, But just look for these uh, darker, almost, uh, nails, and look for the C. It looks like ocean blue, sea blue, ocean blue. Uh, I believe there is more of a deeper neon one that looks more like the atomic breath. So that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And like I said, please subscribe. We're continuing to grow. We just had 120 this morning. And I've got a few, like I said, a few surprises for you. A few G-Fest prep videos. Um, please go check out the playlist I have on my channel for the G-Fest videos if you want to see my past three years and expect some updates as we prepare because now we're a little over, what, nine months, ten months, nine months, I think, till G-Fest. Now's the time to start preparing. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, rock on, and please stay safe, everybody. See you later.